How you going, mate? How yeah. was um, Saudi for you? Yeah, it was good, eh? I had a lot of fun there. It was um, good riding, but uh, we're here at the factory now. We're going to check out something new and exciting. So, oh, yeah? I'm going to head in here and have a look. Oh, look Whoa. at this thing, mate. Look at this thing, mate. Not bad, hey? A new rally. Ooh. It's like ours. Pretty close. That thing's rad. It's cool. the dunes of the Dakar to the trails across the globe, KTM has raced and won on all types of terrain. So what is the best way to use all this race knowledge and experience? Two years ago, KTM set a fresh benchmark of race-driven versatility with the production of the 790 Adventure lineup. For 2021, we strike back with the most exclusive and unique model in the updated lineup, the KTM 890 Adventure R Rally. This bike is born directly from feedback provided by the Dakar Rally winning Red Bull KTM factory racing team. It hits the ground at speed with WP Pro components as well as an extended list of extra features extremely close to those found on the full factory KTM 450 Rally, the bike raced by Toby, Sam and Matthias. Toby, after trying out the KTM 890 Adventure R Rally, do you see your feedback being transmitted into the development of the school machine? Uh, indeed, for sure. We spend a lot of time, a lot of hours out in the desert uh, to then yeah, transfer that information back here to the headquarters and it's cool to see it come to life in uh, the new 890 Adventure R rally bike. So the best part about it is uh, the extended travel you get in this motorcycle gives you that bit extra ground clearance and also that little bit extra comfort as well. So it takes those little bigger hits a little bit better now. And uh, definitely after the last couple of days of riding it, you can see it's uh, as close as you can possibly get to one of our uh, factory rally bikes. The KTM 890 Adventure R Rally is one of the most desirable adventure bikes on the market, thanks to a long list of race spec components. Is that something you notice right away, Sam? Yeah, you know, for us as racers, it's always cool when we see uh, the things that we develop in the, the hard hours out there in the desert come across to the, to the client's bikes, you know, and the production models. And, you know, you see the, the wider foot pegs, which is something that we need after sort of spending hours and hours on the bike each day. You know, this bike's got a, a little bit more streamlined seat, which has also got a grippy texture, which is going to help in the slower sections to have a bit more traction. and. You know, you've got the clear windshield, which we've, you know, used on the rally bikes. It helps a lot in the slow sections to sort of see where your front wheel is in the rocks. And, you know, you've got the Acropovic exhaust on there for a little bit of a racier note. So it's a really cool bike to put in the market. Don't be fooled. The KTM 890 Adventure R Rally is not just the 790 with a bigger engine. KTM has collected feedback from loads of hours of racing and from the likes of Toby, Sam and Matthias and this is where the development of this cool machine has been based upon. In short, the KTM 890 Adventure R Rally is the most extreme off-road travel capable bike available on the market today. It's a truly special edition for 2021 that is limited to only 700 units worldwide. Also carrying the ready to race DNA is the all new KTM 890 Adventure R. And one of the best people to speak about this 2021 model 
is adventure guru Chris Birch. Hey guys, Chris Birch here. Sorry I can't be with you, but uh, welcome to New Zealand. As you can see, we've got the KTM 890 Adventure R behind me. Perfect tool for exploring this awesome terrain. I love this thing. So as much as I love my KTM 790 Adventure R, I've got to admit the 890 is a better bike. That extra punch makes it more fun to ride, and the extra stability, the extra control, the extra torque makes it an easier bike to ride over a long day. So for me, I love exploring. I love getting myself into situations where I probably shouldn't be. And in those situations, that extra torque of this 890 actually makes life quite a bit easier. I can tickle through those really tight sections with a bit more control, less stalling, less messing about, and that allows me to look for my line, figure out where on earth I'm going, and be a more efficient rider in my adventures. The extra rotating mass in the crank, it's making the chassis work better. So the bike's more planted on the trail, less skittery at times, and it makes it, again, a more efficient, easier ride. From the trails of New Zealand, back to the home of KTM in Austria, I'm happy to welcome KTM's product manager, Joachim Sauer. Joachim, you've been heavily involved in the development of this new generation of mid-class adventure models for quite some time already. So, what is it that makes these two new models so different? Well, there is a long list of improvements and new features on that new 890 range. The highlight for sure is the new engine. We increased the bore by 2 mm, the stroke by more than 3 mm, gained 90 cc of displacement. In conjunction with the boosted compression and an increase of the inertia by 20%, we gained so much more power. We have 10 horsepower more than on the 790 engine, we have 12 Newton meter more than on the predecessor and the overall rideability of the engine, especially at low RPM, is so much better than before. We also worked on the shifting in order to improve the optional quick shifter function. But also important to know, we made a development on the clutch with a stronger clutch package with new friction plates in order to adapt the clutch to the higher performance and the higher torque. Last but not least, the 890 Adventure complies also with the latest Euro 5 homologation rules. All these features explain why there is a new engine package in these two new models. But what about the other upgrades in the chassis compartment? Yeah, well, let's start with the electronics. We worked a lot on improving and further develop the motorcycle traction control, the uh, cornering ABS. We also worked on the hardware of the suspension. That means we have a new setting front and rear to make the bike even more suitable in the off-road. We work on weight reduction. For instance, we have now a steering stem between the triple clamps made of aluminum instead of steel. The new models also feature a new handlebar switch, including a cruise control button. Then there is also a reworked brake system, front and rear. In the front, we have a reworked and improved master cylinder, so for a better sensitivity. On the brake pistons, uh, we have new seals. In the rear, we have a better insulation between the pistons and the brake pads. So all in all, this brings more heat stability in the brake system. In addition, the fuel line in the area of the fuel pump features a protector now. And last but not least, the hubs of the wheels are anodized instead of powder coated. The new generation of KTM Adventure machinery takes the form of two race-inspired versions. The exclusive travel-capable rally bike, the KTM 890 Adventure R Rally, and the real-world travel-capable off-road bike, the KTM 890 Adventure R. Boasting more power and improved suspension engineering, these two machines take everything KTM learned through decades of rally and off-road competition to deliver a highly desirable package. For more information, make sure to check KTM.com. If you want to explore the outer limits of every adventure, you will hardly find a more capable and truly ready-to-race choice. <laughs> <laughs>